way to safety in Britain. The children who made the journey, now in their 80s, treasure the memories of the families they left behind. My dear parents must be when they were first married. 1914, that is. The last goodbyes still haunt the children who left for a new life in Britain. Their parents hid from them the fact that they might never meet again. I've got a letter here from Tommy, my brother, asking me how I like England and how much he'd like to be with me there. Special trains from Prague to London took the children away from Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia to safety. The unlikely hero behind this rescue was a young London stockbroker, Nicholas Winton. I felt convinced of the dire necessity of something to be done. It was merely the idea, which I suppose must have originally come from the families. Look, if you can't get us out, can you get our children out? But not all the trains Winton chartered got through. The children on one that didn't ended up not in England, but in Hitler's concentration camps. Their tragic loss is one of Nicholas Winton's greatest regrets, but it doesn't diminish from this remarkable story of Britain's secret Schindler. The rise to power of the Nazi party in Germany during the 1930s replaced democracy with dictatorship led by Adolf Hitler. Hitler's ambition was to rebuild Germany's military strength with the ultimate dream of the total domination of Europe. His regime was based on the persecution of alleged enemies within, most of all the Jews. Most of Europe viewed the threat posed by the regime with growing unease. One of the few in England who saw the urgent need for action was Nicholas Winton. Born in 1909 into a London banking family with German and Jewish roots, he was perfectly placed to know about the persecution of the Jews. I knew exactly what was going on in Germany because we even had relatives and friends whom we were given sanctuary to in our home. We knew from them what was going on. And although at that time, of course, the real bestiality of the Nazi regime hadn't started, one knew of the general persecution that was happening. Along with the Jews, the other main targets for Nazi persecution were communists and trade unionists. The attacks on them by Hitler's supporters left Germany in a virtual state of civil war. Some families, fearing for their lives, began to move away to the safety of neighboring countries like Czechoslovakia. Suzanne Maidas' father was in serious danger. He was editor of a left-wing German newspaper. He was also a Jew. When we fled from Germany, we really had to leave pronto. We left immediately. We left behind our house. And when we got to Czechoslovakia, we were welcomed there with open arms. We, and nobody, there was no distinction between Jewish or not Jewish. I don't remember anti-Semitism in Czechoslovakia, 